Just a quick quick stop here at the back of Whitey School. Elvis had his own football team in the 60s, EP Enterprises. Uh, and he had full full kit, full gear for them. To include himself and his friends and some old college players. And they would rent this, uh, Elvis would rent this ground out to play the games against other teams local to the area. So just a bit further up Elvis Presley Boulevard from White Haven School is Southland Mall. It opened in 1966 as Memphis's first enclosed shopping mall. And Elvis and Priscilla were known to shop here quite often. And quite a few of their pets was from a pet store called Kilgore's, which was just inside the entrance. But Elvis was also known to uh, shop here after hours, amongst other places. So just stop here on Elvis Presley Boulevard, Royal Furniture. Back in the 70s this was Donald's Furniture Store. And it's reportedly here where Elvis bought most of the furniture that is now in the so-called jungle room in Graceland, um, which is all the Polynesian wood carvings. Some have said the Royal Furniture the, that Elvis bought it on Main Street, Royal Furniture on Main Street, but it was Donald's Furniture, and that might just be the confusion because this is also now is called Royal Furniture. The other Donald Furniture store is was up on Crosstown, but it's probable that this is in the 70s. It's probable that this was likely the store where the furniture was bought. Two trains of thought is the one that just Elvis did love Hawaii and just thought the furniture reminded him of Hawaii and the other train of thought is that his father Vernon came home one day and said he'd seen the most goddamn awful furniture he'd ever seen in his life which prompted Elvis to go and buy it. So this is Whitehaven Plaza Shopping Centre. This opened in the mid 50s and one occasion Elvis shopped here was on Christmas Eve 57 but when he, he had to I believe he was feeling uncomfortable with all the attention he was getting. Perhaps still not quite not used to how the fame would, would affect his private life. So he got around that by same as other places. He arranged for the stores to open after hours so he could do the shopping in private. The buildings used to extend all the way down past where that security van is. Of course, changing economic climates means that uh, a lot of it no longer exists. They come all the way down here, do they? All the way down there. All the way down there. All the way back down. They've all pulled it all down there. All gone, yeah. Now over to the right there is the Piccadilly restaurant. Again, it's not somewhere Elvis King himself very often, but it is known that Vernon and his second wife, Dee Stanley, often came here for the Sunday lunches. It's a very, uh, still a very popular restaurant. Look with the locals. This is, is this Elvis Presley's yeah. Plaza? This is the new resort, uh, shopping, dining, museum experience that they've built in conjunction with the guest house at Graceland. So on Craft Road, just just a bit up from. Elvis Presley Boulevard down there, you can just see the, the fence going on the side of the new Elvis Presley's Elvis's Memphis gift and shopping plaza, museums. Here this was 
the Trinity Baptist Church and on 20th of December Sunny West, one of Elvis's bodyguards and entourage was married here. Elvis was his best man and Elvis showed up in a fur suit with guns in each boot and in his suit belt. Don't know what that noise is. Um, yeah, and from, from the wedding they proceeded over to Graceland then where Elvis had laid on a reception and they all had their pictures, all Elvis and his entourage all had their pictures taken with the the sheriff badges. That building across the road there, that's the chiropodist foot specialist and Elvis. He would go there even though Graceland is literally right next door, there's the driveway there. But he would insist on calling personally rather than having the chiropodist come up to him next door. And that's on the corner of Elvis Presley Boulevard and Dolan, and that's where we're off to next. This is Dolan Drive, and this is 1266 Dolan. This was of his father's Vernon's house right behind or right alongside Graceland in fact that's one of the Graceland barns you can see on the back this house is where Vernon lived for the longest time from October 64 until 76 when he and Dee Presley were separated The house was bought by the owners of the Hickory, Hickory Log, which was a cafe which was across the street from Graceland. There's another house that Elvis bought along Dolan Drive here, which was just up on the corner there, where that red truck is. That was the home of Gary Pepper. Which we'll have a look at as we go past. Gary Pepper was uh, an Elvis fan, he had cerebral palsy um, and despite his disability Gary Pepper was uh, self-sufficient and used to cut out newspaper clippings for local businesses and they would pay him for every clipping he would, come, he would find. He started cutting out information on a new local singer Elvis Presley and he, he sent scrapbooks to Gladys and so started a friendship there so and Gary was president of the Tankers fan club which was an Elvis fan club Elvis would go round to see Gary in the house on the corner there when he wanted to get away from Graceland and just needed a break Elvis also employed Gary Pepper's father Sterling as a, as a gate guard at Graceland. Gary Pepper died in 1980. Elvis' girlfriend in the 70s, Linda Thompson, had a brother, Sam Thompson, who was an ex-Memphis uh, policeman, became part of Elvis' entourage. In the summer of 74, Elvis brought Sam along this street, asked him how he thought we liked the house here that was for sale and when Sam said he did like it Elvis just bought it for him there and then and Sam Thompson his wife lived here till 1978 that house there there's a lot of interest for Elvis fans there because there were actual recordings made in that house in November of 74 on a home recording tape Elvis cut a few songs informally Spanish eyes that's all right mama I'm so long to make a cry amongst them and of course the the rude bird poem on the left here was this used to stand Grace Graceland Elementary School the link with Elvis here was that these three stepbrothers Billy, 
Rick and David Stanley attended school here and they tell stories of being the envy of classmates when Elvis would pull up outside in a Cadillac to pick him up from school. Another home Elvis bought for the Thompsons was this one, the head, which he bought for Linda Thompson's parents in 1974. Unfortunately, when Elvis died, it was discovered that he, had, he hadn't actually turned over any deeds in their name and it was it reverted back to the ownership of the estate and they had to move out. This house we're coming up upon now was another of Vernon's houses. Um, we married Dee Stanley in July 1960 but Elvis never really felt comfortable with Dee in the house taking the place of his mother and in December 61 Vernon and Dee moved into that house up there and they lived in that house until they bought until they moved into the house on Dolan in 64 and just down the road a bit another of Vernon's houses which he was his last home in June of 1974 moved in there with his nurse who became his partner Sandy Miller. Linda Thompson's home, although Linda obviously spent most of her time at Graceland with Elvis in the 70s, he bought her this home in April 1975. Their relationship ended in November 76 and Linda eventually sold the house in 1981.